Hello world! In today's episode, we are going to get some more population happening in our high density city. We are going to make sure that our schools feel more like schools. And we're going to get started on our next Pokemon gym. Hello world! Welcome to episode 8 of our Pokemon City Skylines crossover city. As we pass a Lucario on the sidewalk, we are going through our downtown? Is this a downtown yet? I don't even know. Of our high density city. We have a few things on the to-do list today. Thing number one is getting some more density in this high density city. So let's get on that. Before we move on to anything too super fun though, I do want to introduce you guys to this guy, Tomas. I don't know if I've said their names before. Uh, this is Tomas. He is currently on my lap as I'm recording this. So he says hello everybody. I hope that you can say hi back. And uh, so let's carry on. Uh, back here, you can see the like, kind of pretty, I, I'm going to call it, well, I was going to say posh, but is it posh when it's this small? I don't know. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing housing anyways down here. So I'm scooching up this way. This is a big hospital. This is a hospital as well, right? Oh, a crematorium, right? Of course. And um, we're going to do some more high density here. I just, I want an excuse to use these USA apartments. Uh, I'm not very ultra familiar, but they look kind of neato. So now if I get another one, I just don't want to do the same pattern, right? But that fits pretty nice. I guess it's kind of easy to tell that it's the same assets. How do we feel about that? How does that make us feel? I'm gonna try. Okay. Don't, don't look. It's okay. Hundreds of people are not losing their livelihoods and their housing. I swear. Let's try this guy next. This guy one more time. And then that guy. That feels a little bit more random. I'm, o I'm okay with that, I guess. Yeah, we're going to go with that. I just find, I know the color of the brick is different, but you know, the super high rise with the many windows and stuff. I don't know. I just felt like they fit over here. So I might put them along this back way as well. Is there, can I kind of incorporate them with any other? These are crazy cool looking too, eh? Actually, I really, really like the way those look. Is it weird to have kind of the old like looking stuff back here maybe not it could be preserved because of the rail or something let me put it in and then we'll see how we feel once it's in i am okay with what i see here i think we can argue or or theorize or whatever that these older looking buildings uh, are the original buildings that were there and then as these new guys came in there's been talk of like demolishing the old ones for, um, you know, to make way for for the, the new dogs in town. But they are fighting the man <laughs> or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can develop with that. I like that quite a bit. And I just want to put like a wee little park or something here. Oh yeah, look, you can even scooch along the back. It would be really cool if we could get stuff happening back here as well. What would you have in between buildings like this? What would you have? Back here, you would put a little tiny mini market and some places for people to eat, a big planter, and some garbage bins. That's what you would put back there. Not a crazy amount of things, but enough that it looks kind of detailed or decorated, maybe is a better word. And we threw a little statue out here. So that is that high density done. 
hopefully these guys will begin to populate. They want land value and education, which just means it has to wait. So great, they're doing they're doing their thing. Over here, we put in uh, just some vanilla and high density buildings, and I think they look just fine. I think they look just peachy. Before we continue to populate the uh, city that needs the population, I do want to get some unique buildings put in here. We haven't put anything down yet, right? Just parks, I think. So this stadium makes a lot of sense. My only struggle with the stadium is that it, look at how much noise it produces. But I think we can probably get away with it if we remember to put offices down or something. So we're gonna try it. How nicely does it, oh, you know what guys, if I anarchy it, it fits so nice in here. Cause watch, I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna move it, mod it. Yeah, it just fits way too nice to put it anywhere but there. So that's great. Holy, look at all these people. Where are you guys all headed? People are, are moving about, doing their thing. Um, so yes, we have one unique building over there. We will have another somewhere else, wink wink, for a Pokemon gym. But I do want to at least put one more down. That's a modern art museum. I wonder. It kind of makes sense over here. It might really piss these people off. But let's try it. Let's see what happens. Because again, it's just like the cool kind of crazy decorative style that fits in with these houses. So yeah, we'll try it there. We'll see how angry these guys get. And let's take a quick break from having people move in to our city that still we, we need kind of a name for this district. Um, in city skylines, it's, it's a district. In our kind of canon, it's a, it's a city of its own, right? The high, den high density city that we've been talking about. So if you can think of a name for it, I will put down a district and I will name it. Same thing um, with this area over here, it could use a name and honestly, our, oh yeah, we have this big park that doesn't have a name and our little starter town. So we have three, three kind of separate towns or cities or whatever that, that need names. Um, I welcome and encourage suggestions for them. But remember, I think at the end of the last episode, I teased that we would start to do a university maybe. Well, before people get to university, they need to go to littler schools like this elementary school. However, this elementary school is, is quite boring. So we're going to take some time. I'm going to go into uh, speedy uppy watch build things fast mode. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get all of the schools of the city looking just fine.
So you've seen our three schools get uh, decorated and I guess you could call it detail day. Um, there might be a couple finishing touches to do like to end off this fence nicely or something like that but I think we did what we needed to do. Tomas just did a big stretch that put him between me and the microphone and it was way cute. <laughs> so let's now get a couple more people living in this city, shall we? We certainly could use a couple, a couple more. I wonder, can we fit these buildings? We can. You know what, guys? I know that they're the exact same building, but I don't hate the way that that looks. And it's going to bring us that population that we need. And maybe we even do two more. I know doing them on the main road isn't necessarily the best. Now those are going to clip into each other, right? So maybe instead we grab this guy and bring him over here and over here as well. Now these aren't all the exact same, are they? No. So I just did. So now I need this guy. Excellent. Nope. Now I need... Hello? This guy. Is that right? Am I am I losing it? Yeah, those are different. Shh. Yeah, they look great though, don't they? I really like that. I really like that a lot. Perfect. So those guys will uh, help get our population up and running. I will probably do some detailing work down here, like do a little uh, concrete making thing and probably put some planters down with some trees and stuff. I really like to do that little that little work. So I'll probably do that in between episodes, but now it's time for our main attraction of this city. I don't know if it'll be the main attraction, actually. It'll certainly be an important thing in the city. Will it be the main attraction though? I guess you guys can let me know, but we're going to hop over here. Oh, we still need to, to get this Pokemon Center decked out as well. But beyond the Pokemon Center, beyond the school, uh, here in, I've decided this area is going to be a bit of like green housing, green living area. And you guessed it, that means we are going to have a grass type gym. So let's get some pathing up to the grass type gym. And I've decided I want everything to be, how to say, with dirt and hedges and very uh, green living type stuff. So I think to start, I will get some paths out here. Now I just went by the trees, but I recognize now that's probably not the best. So we'll, yeah, we'll just leave there. Uh, did you understand what I just said? Let me know in the comments below if any of that made any sense. Uh, the question is, do we do like a maze going up to the gym or do we just we just do this i wonder i wonder the type of the gym that i want is a very specific building it's this guy i'm gonna put him over here but then but then just wait and watch we're gonna do this with him and he should still stay connected yes how beautiful is that i think that's just stunning great so that's that's it that's our that's our grass type gym Congratulations. Of course, I'm kidding. We need very much more grass happening in this area. Before we do that, though, let's get some last final green housing in here. So growable, yes, but we want the, the green city high density. And I'm going to kind of take the same approach as before and um, get some buildings that are the height that I want. They will level up while remaining the same visually, which is great. And we'll just finish getting the high density in here. We have a bit of height variation. I'm down with that. I might actually take out, you know what? Yeah, okay, one last, one last adjustment. Taking out this guy, sorry guy. And we're gonna find the tall boys one tall boy to put in here that's a very tall boy Whew. that's a slightly less tall boy maybe ah and the coloring goes very well here great so now we have more people uh again i will probably end up doing some 
work in the back here. However, maybe rather than businesses back here, it'll probably all be like greenery and uh, pretty trees. Whoa, pretty trees and stuff. Sorry about that. Um, before I forget, I do want to put a path out the back here. I ended up putting down a path and covering it with the uh, pavement concrete painting stuff. I know these guys happen, but we'll figure out a way of making them look better. I wanna, we'll, we'll probably have buildings here as well that we can work with, but you can see people are already using, there we go, sped up. People are already using the path, so great. These guys are leveling up, cool. Probably just need education, no level up info available. It's just waiting to do its thing. Okay, wonderful. Grass type gym needs to be greener. No, I mean like more green. No, listen, I mean like really, really green. Okay, that is almost green enough. Certainly not quite, but almost. Uh, we will need to, however, finish this up in our next episode so I can give you guys some time for feedback. But I'm picturing like a forest back here uh, to cut off the view of the gross industry and stuff. Um, and probably just some bushes, kind of shrubbery stuff down here just to make it look less flat. Um, I realize we should probably, probably not permit cars to come down here. Uh, only service vehicles and that sort of thing. And we'll do the same on this road. Yes, please. And over here. Good. Great. Thanks, guys. Oh, now I've been pressing shift. Oh, right. It's because... Yeah, okay, fine. All right, fine. Cool. So that will hopefully help minimize the car traffic. Um, the last thing I kind of want to do over here before we finish up the episode is... What? What is it? Growable low density commercial and actually can we get some of this eco stuff please we're gonna do a couple things by this poke mart and see kind of how nice we can make this little area look that is not hello gonna be too bad is it no that's all right what's this little guy oh he looks cool can we get him right there good and we can probably get one more, one more wee little guy. Oh, look at, we can put him there and put him and yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we have some markets that sell eco stuff for the bajillionth time this episode. We are going to fill this in with concrete. I'll put some greenery, some benches, all that kind of thing around here. Delightful. So that's the last bit of this area. And just to give you guys a small teaser of where we are headed, I'm going to zoom out, going to come way over here. Yes. Grab any old road because boy, howdy, I promise you we are changing this. <laughs> we are changing this when we work on it. Uh, I need to do some proper research and some proper planning, but remember how I said we need a university? Um, this guy, I just realized, is gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, why does he... Why Why are you saying that? Okay, well, that's, that's, a, that's a tomorrow problem, and by tomorrow I mean next time problem. So, yeah, let's get some really cool Asian-inspired buildings over here around the... Uh, university. This will be the university of our town, uh, of our region, I guess. We won't do the university DLC. Um, so that that is to come. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see about that. Let me know how you feel about our second gym of the region, the grass gym, and I guess what it what it should be called, what the badge should be called. You know, the usual kind of stuff. And be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked what we did today. Um, subscribe if you want more City Skylines content and other odd, weird content. <laughs> and uh, yeah, take care, guys. I will see you next time.